Okay, good morning, Jake. Hello. Hello. So can you tell us very briefly where people might know you from? I know you're very humble, but pe I think people are going to know lots of the names of films you've been in. Can you give us a, a quick overview of what you've been in, what people might see you in? Yeah. So um, I have done quite a few. Uh, film. Let me think. So Stardust would be one of the big ones. Um, Ridley Scott's Robin Hood. Ooh. Maze Runner, Death Cure, which was out fairly recently. Journey's End was out and fairly recently. Out? And Fury. Um, no. No, okay. No. I'm going to not interrupt anymore. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it, well, well it, was the, it was the third in a trilogy. So, um, yeah, I think that's the end of that. I didn't watch the first two movies. I maybe oh, we're not allowed say to say that, that but, are um, you? No. Uh, and then, no, I should have, yeah, done my research. And the um, last one that's come yeah, out. Yeah, The Owners, which is out right now. Yeah, that's on Amazon, everyone. Go and buy it. It's really good. Really good. Go buy it or rent it. Yeah, or rent it. Do people rent it anymore? But yeah, you should do it. It's really good. I can recommend. And the Thank reason. You very much. I'm speaking with you today, as you know, is because I've asked you to be an ambassador for our upcoming expansion of our school, the I've Learning Design School. Have you lost me? Can you hear me okay now? No, you're back again. I'm back. I've got you. I love Zoom. I'm going to have to edit this and I don't know how. Um, so I've asked you to be an ambassador for our school um, for some very important reasons um, and one of them for the students benefit could you explain to um, people watching what was your personal experience of school like was it possible? yeah I mean I, I had very um, I didn't enjoy school I had a bad experience of school I'm I'm dyslexic but I didn't know that um, until I was just about to go into secondary school so there was no provision made. And in fact, it wasn't really something at that time that was really recognized or tested for. Mm -hmm. um, so if you kind of, if you thought differently, you, you were kind of left behind basically. Um, and I had teachers calling me stupid and stuff like that. I had books thrown at me for not, uh, you know, keeping up in class essentially. It's unbelievable. Um, then I went to secondary school where there were some, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it is. And, and thinking back on it, you know, it was, it was kind of a terrifying time for me because I didn't know, I, I felt like I was being conscientious. I was trying hard. I just, um, I just wasn't, my, my brain wasn't able to process the information in the way they, they wanted me to. Mm -hmm. um, then I, I went, at secondary school, there was some provision made, but it was still in the early days of that. And um, I also went to a school that, that had other issues. And so um, I, I didn't, I kind of got lost in in the educational side of school mm -hmm. um, and it was easy then to kind of tune out misbehave um, and that kind of stuff I was I was lucky in that um, I found other things other mm -hmm. other places to put my energies so acting was like a uh, an outlet for all your energy and like a release yeah exactly my mum was very keen there's there's four of us kids and um she was very keen on getting us into extracurricular activities mm -hmm. um, that that were kind of projections of our personality, if you like. So we, we didn't all do the same things. And so my brother played football. I, I did drama. My sister did gymnastics. You know, we, we were all kind of, but, but that was, I, I was lucky in that sense. Um, yeah. So would you say that it's not it's not an understatement to say that that somebody calling you stupid on a regular basis and um especially when you feel like you you've got all this intelligence and you are you know you're a bright person but you can't translate it to someone else like what impact does that have on you as a child would you say huge and actually uh, it's only now really that i'm kind of unpicking it because you just accept the way you're treated as a child yep um because you acquiesce all of your authority to authority figures because that's who they are so the teacher is the be all and end all and if they tell you that then that is the truth fact. yeah exactly mm -hmm. um and actually interestingly after our conversation yesterday um i thought about it a lot more because my first reaction when you 
you know, very kindly offered me to, to be an ambassador. And I wanted to because it's something I care about, but I didn't feel like I was the right person for it. I felt like I would do it wrong. Mm -hmm. And that all goes directly back to how you're, 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 you're told you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Um, and if you're told you're doing it wrong all the time, then you are always second guessing us as to whether you're, you're doing it wrong now. Mm -hmm. So it, it comes with some good things in that I'm extremely conscientious and I work hard in order to do, uh, you know, I want to excel. So I, I work hard at, at doing that. Yeah. But then I have an inner dialogue, which is which is negative. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's mental health implications with that, you know. Yeah. And also that. So like you say, it's a lifelong strike that they've made against you. And then you have to kind of as an adult unpick that and kind of forgive yourself even though you don't need to forgive yourself because you haven't done anything wrong but it's a bit of a weird now I can see retrospectively that they were wrong not me um and and if you hadn't had something yeah. your mum who I know is um really really supportive you know as you say you could go down a completely different path you could end up misbehaving or just saying well what's the point because no one takes me seriously anyway yeah why try why try exactly? Yeah. Um. And um, and what do you think? Like, were there were there any key? Yeah. I mean, I'm very you... very lucky. Sorry. Yeah. I, was gonna say, I was gonna say, is there any? Were there any moments where you were like, right, I'm gonna succeed in spite of you, rather than because of you, or was it a gradual thing? It it was a it was a gradual thing, but again, that's a dialogue that I I carry with me. Is that I have point to prove when you you, you know don't really mm -hmm. um but yeah I was, I was having difficulties at school and my mum knew about a, a drama club that was on Saturday mornings and she said maybe you'd like to try you know I was crying in bed about you know, you know school mm -hmm. and uh you know she obviously thought let's find a different place for you to you know what the thing you know I was quite uh mouthy and you know like <laughs> I like to act out and all of that kind of stuff yeah, and I think I she thought if we can channel those energies then um, you'll be celebrated for those things as opposed to being a, a difficult person who needs to sit at the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you can you can find a place where you can sit at the front and, you know, people, this is, you know, your your chance to shine, if you like, mm. you know. That's a really nice um, way of putting it, that you weren't, that you're, you shouldn't have to tolerate school and just be there just sort of marking time. It should be yeah getting through just it. like everybody else and actually of course there's going to be subjects that you're like oh I don't really enjoy that as much but every lesson should be really allowing you to see yourself in different ways as in a positive light not like just sit here and mark time till the bell goes that is a complete waste of everybody's time so if there was something like yeah. um learn to shine around when you were studying or as a child like what would that have how would that have helped you and, and why would you recommend it for other children to go to? I think it's just the language that, that you use to teach is vital and a nurturing environment is key if you want to get the best out of anybody. I've done quite a lot of theatre and I've worked with a lot of directors who take the role of teacher if you like in that mm -hmm. respect because they're guiding you through a text that you're trying to comprehend and you're yeah. trying to communicate so you have to digest it and the, the good ones are the ones who are going to take what you have and help you to explore that and they'll get a result with you to, uh, as a process and the, the bad ones, the ones who say, no, that's wrong. I don't want to see that. I want this. And then you, you have to go back inside yourself and, and then do a lot of work to process the negativity you just received mm. in order to do that. So it's a, it's a kind of back step to go forward. Whereas if you, if you nurture someone, care for them, give them a voice, then th th they will do better. Yeah. That's really interesting hearing that, how that's received as an actor as well, like having to go, oh, okay, stop. I now need to completely change what I've just done. And, and then you're like having to deal with insecurity on top of what you've just done and need to concentrate on. So I think the old school, you know, shouting at somebody till they, they get a performance or shouting at somebody until they do what you want is just really old fashioned and it doesn't work. And actually from a psychological point of view, um, when even when teachers say things like, put your hand up, 
it releases cortisol in students because there's like, oh, I've got to say something, even if they actually do know something to say. And then they go blank because the brain's gone into frightened mode and it, it's actually not the best way of getting information. And, and there's, lots, right. there's lots of ways of drawing things out that if you know about it, makes a big, big difference. And I think that's what I'm really happy that you're part yeah. of the journey because you've actually lived through it. You've experienced the bad way of dealing with it and you see what could have been and you've succeeded in spite of that. So yeah, I'm really yeah because there's, there's nothing wrong with things being difficult or challenging, but um, yeah, it's, it's how it's how you move forward through those things and how you're encouraged to do those things. Where and it, encouragement is like a really key word because as soon as you're discouraged, it's e it's easy for you to give up and and think well, I can't do it because you don't believe I can, and it's easy for then I'll just let myself off the hook and be like, fine, oh, I can't do it or I won't do it or I won't yeah. do it the way you want me to do it. Yeah, there's a lot of processes going on, isn't there, in the brain? But I, I just want to say thank you very much Absolutely. for being on board with us. And um, is there anything you want to say to the pupils or the families or anything before we go? Put you on the spot there, haven't I? Um, what? Yeah, you have a little bit, but <laughs> I mean, I think I think there is. It's just whether I, it's whether I can articulate. Maybe I should put my hand up. It's yeah. whether, <laughs> it's whether I can articulate it well or enough or not. But I think what what you're doing, what Learn Shine is doing, is empowering people, giving people the tools that fit the brain that they have, as opposed to trying to get people to learn or, 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 or educate themselves in a way that's alien from that. And, and as soon as you do that, it's person centric mm -hmm. and you're able to kind of curate, if you like, your own education according to the things that you, you want to be doing in life and like I was just saying there's nothing wrong with things being difficult and challenging because that's that is life it's always going to throw up these things but if you're spoken to in a way from an early age that makes you be able to step into those difficulties and know that you have the resources within you to deal with those mm -hmm. then you're kind of set for life and you, you know I'm, I'm sure everybody needs to you know do some therapy down the road or whatever but the, 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 but um yeah that's it, it, it's talking and it's talking to individuals and helping individuals learn to shine. Yeah, I think what you've just said is incredibly articulate. So you should in never ever feel that that is a weakness. You that was incredibly articulate, and you I might have to steal some of the stuff you said. So sorry about that. Please <laughs> put it in copy. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, and um, hopefully when no, that is over. Yours you can come and meet the pupils and maybe we could have an acting masterclass or something like that. I'd, I'd love that. I genuinely love that. Yeah, let's let's hook that up. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to try and stop the recording now. <laughs> okay. But thank <laughs> you. <laughs>